I'd like to show you how we can use the practice website www.htmc.co.uk to find out about the map of medicine and how it can help you to get a better understanding of your condition. On the home page you can see here in the self-care section there's the map of medicine. Click on that it'll take you to the map of medicine page which is found actually on NHS choices. Click on I agree to the terms and conditions and you can see here the health guides from the map of medicine. There are over 340 pathways and these pathways have been designed by clinicians in the NHS, primarily for clinicians in the NHS such as doctors or nurses. They're evidence-based patient pathways that start from when you suspect a condition such as um, asthma um, or alopecia um, or adenomyosis and um, goes on to explain um, well, how to diagnose it, what symptoms to take, what uh, examination findings there are, what investigations ought to happen and then what treatments there are. And it starts from a general practice setting but then goes on to explain at what point someone should be referred into the hospital and what happens when you do get referred into the hospital. Now here you can see there's a range of different letters that you can look at or the top 10 pathways which is down here or you can simply put a, a search in for something that you might be interested in. Let's just go into an example, let's take acute asthma and here is the acute asthma pathway and you can see green indicates primary care or general practice setting secondary care will be in blue and I'll show you that in a moment before we go into the actual pathway itself, let's just slide down here and have a look at the provenance. The provenance explains why we should be looking at this pathway. And you can see that this has been updated here on the 31st of July 2009. And it's last reviewed on the 31st of July. And it's due for review on the 30th of November 2010. And, and just, just so that you're aware, it's the 17th of September today, 2009, that we're looking at this video. You can also see who's accredited it and who's certified it and then you can see the level of evidence that's available for this particular pathway so it indicates what level there is and what's been used and then finally what references there are what references there are um, for the, uh, the pathway that's been used so there's examples here of the different pathways that we've looked at Okay, so let's just go back. And if we look at what this pathway is about, then it shows here what the scope is, what's out of scope, what the definition is, prevalence, risk factors, prognosis, and again, what reference has been used to determine that. You can see in each of these nodes there's a little information button. If you click on the information button, it gives you further information that you can look at. If we slide it down, we see here investigations, consider speed of onset, acute exacerbation. Let's click on acute exacerbation. Is it life threatening? Yes. Arrange emergency transfer to hospital, refer immediately. And then you can see here how it changes from green to blue. That indicates that this is now within a hospital setting, and this is what would normally happen. If we go to the life threatening, and you can then start to see what would happen in a hospital setting and what treatments they would do and so on. Why is this useful? Well, if you have a look at your full access to your medical record and look at your problem type list, then you'll see the conditions that you suffer with. My suggestion would be for you to go into the map of medicine, put in those conditions that you suffer with and have a look at the pathways and look at what's been going on and also perhaps compare what's happened with you with what the map of medicine says. You might even want to print off your pathways and here's a little button that you can print to see what the map of medicine says about it and perhaps use that as a basis of a discussion that you have with your doctor, nurse or other colleague, podiatrist or whoever else you might be seeing and, and perhaps ask them about views on the, bit, the, the, the part that they um, have got an interest in or what they're trying to do. If you have any questions feel free to contact me at the surgery. Dr. Hannah. Thank you.